So we're talking of the stereo specificity in the addition reactions. So we have before alkenes, maybe we could have cis alkene and trans alkene. Right? And when we are talking of addition reactions, the addition could be anti-addition or syn addition. So for example, if I take if I take some examples of anti-addition, it is like bromine and CCL4, or we can have Cl2. In dichloromethane, these both are examples of anti-addition. Similarly, bromine in water. Okay. So what happens is, whenever we take this com this combination, whether there is anti-addition taking place in a trans alkene, one thing which is to be remembered is that both the groups, whatever are getting added, They are added, rather I should say, added on same side, which means both are either kept on wedge or dash. There is actually same side addition. Now when these two groups are added on same side means in simple terms, you are going to add both the groups. You are going to keep both of them either on wedge like this, you know, same side addition, or you are going to keep both of them on dash like this. Okay. Now, when such type of addition takes place, three cases can arise. Yeah. depending on if the molecule is having a plane of symmetry or not. You know? Now, if the molecule has a plane of symmetry, in second case, if molecule has no plane of symmetry. So, in that case, first case is if the molecule has a POS, then the compound formed would be a meso compound. You know? And if the molecule has no POS, then again, two cases will arise. First case, if all chiral centers change and all Chiral centers do not change. So in this case, if all chiral centers are changing, then the products that I get are enantiomers. And if I, all chiral centers do not change, I end up with diastereo. So I'll recap this slide for you. To a trans alkene, if anti-addition is taking place, since we are adding two groups in an anti-fashion, right? but if you have trans alkene and you are adding anti-fashion two groups, add kar rahe ho, what actually happens is both the groups are added from the same side. Same side se mera hai, you have to keep both the groups either on wedge or both the groups on dash. Okay? Now once you have placed both the groups, Again, it depends if the molecule has a plane of symmetry, then the, then the compound obtained is only one product, it is a meso compound. You know? In case on keeping uh, on keeping both the groups on um, same side, other molecule may POS nahi, there is no plane of symmetry in the molecule and all chiral centers are changing, wedge say dash, dash say wedge, then what I'm getting is enantiomers. If all chiral centers do not change, I end up with diastereo. So now to explain what we have written using an example in the next slide. So picking up an example of trans butylene here. <clears throat> trans butylene. Let's see. 
to this if I add bromine and dichloromethane. So what happens is okay. this is trans and this is anti-addition. So what is going to happen here? We have to add both the bromines. Keep both of them either on wedge or you can keep both of them on dash. But if you notice here in this molecule, there will be a plane of symmetry. Hence, these are not two different products. This is only one product, which is a meso compound, since it has a plane of symmetry. Okay. Okay. Let's take an example of one more transalkene. Let's take trans pentuene. This may let's take we'll add chlorine in the presence of dichloromethane. Okay. So what I'm going to get here is Now again, this is trans and anti. So I'm going to add both the chlorines. I'm going to keep both the chlorines on wedge. Or keeping both the chlorines on dash. Okay. Now, chlorines to same side se add kare, but one thing to note here is this group here and this group here is not same. You know, this, this was not a symmetrical uh, alkene. So, here there is no plane of symmetry passing through the molecule. You know, since the groups that are attached to the chiral carbon are different. So, there is no plane of symmetry in this case. But if you notice by this A and B around this chiral center and this chiral center, the configuration is changed. You know, dusra chiral center, dusra chiral center, the configuration is changed. Which se kya ho gaya? Dash. So if there is no plane of symmetry and jitne chiral centers hain, sab se, or there is a change in the configuration. Which se dash ho raha ya dash se wedge ho raha hai, whatever it is. So in that case, here both these products are two different products. They are actually my enantiomers. My A and B here are enantiomers. So here I'm not getting one product. In this case, I'm getting two products. Both products, which are both NSMIs, non-superimposable mirror images of each other. Similarly, if I consider the next case, if I have a cis alkene, with anti-addition. So in that case, what happens is, my both groups They are added from opposite sides, which means we have to keep one group 
at which and other at dash. So in that case, my two cases will arise here. Molecules are not going to have a plane of symmetry. So again, two cases, what can be formed are if all chiral centers change, then the product are enantiomers. If all chiral centers do not change, then I get diastereo units. Talking of the rest two cases, and then we are going to pick up examples of all the cases. So let's take. I have a trans alkene. Now let's talk of syn addition cases. Yeah. So I have a trans alkene. To which, if I am adding a molecule in syn fashion or syn addition is taking place. So in addition, for example, uh, we can have mm, oxidation reactions like with Bayer's reagent. Then we can have reaction with hydrogen or catalytic hydrogenation. Same ways. We can add deuterium in the same manner in which the hydrogen is added. This is also an example of syn addition. Or we can have oxidation using osmium tetraoxide in the presence of sodium bisulfite. These are all examples of syn addition. So what happens here in this case is to a trans alkene, if you are adding a group in syn fashion, again. Both groups are added on opposite sides, which means you have to keep one of the groups on wedge, one on dash. So in that case again, There is no plane of symmetry in the molecule. So depending on the chiral carbons, they change or not. We can have enantiomers or we can have diastereomers. The last case, taking a cis alkene, with syn addition, both the groups are added on the same side means keep both groups on wedge or dash. So in this case again, if the molecule 
possesses a plane of symmetry i get a meso compound if there is no plane of symmetry in the molecule i end up with enantiomers or diastereomers picking up examples Now let's take i start with cis form of butene ha na this is cis butene i add chlorine in the presence of dichloromethane so here this is cis alkene having an anti addition so the groups i'm going to add is from opposite sides that is one on wedge one on dash okay now as you can see here there is no plane of symmetry in the molecule there is no pos and configurations around both the chiral centers there are two chiral centers and dono hi chiral centers pe the configuration is changing so what i'm getting here is two products let's name them as x and y two products which are enantiomers Now let us consider another example. Okay. I'm having a methyl group here. This is three methyl cyclohexene. Okay. Now since this is a cyclohexene ring. around the double bond the configuration is like a uh, cis it is in cis manner you know trans does not occur uh, until eight carbons so isme again if i add chlorine in the presence of dichloromethane both the chlorines are added Let's keep one on wedge, the other on dash. Okay, the other case would be dash and wedge. Yeah. Now in these two cases, if we compare all the chiral centers, they go around this. These two chiral centers, where chlorine add one, the configuration has changed fine. But if I take this chiral center. the one i'm marking in blue configuration around this chiral center has chiral center has not changed hai na so if configuration around all the chiral centers change only then we consider them to be enantiomers yahan pe all chiral centers are not changing their configuration hai na methyl is already on wedge in both the cases and again there is no plane of symmetry in the molecule so there is no pos all chiral centers are not changing their configuration so these two let's call them as p and q i'm getting two products here p and q and they are diastereomers
They are not in action. Let's move on to some more examples. Beautiful. So I have cyclohexene. I add deuterium in the presence of platinum. Okay. So now deuterium or hydrogen is added across the double bond in a same fashion. So keep both the deuteriums. Either on wedge. Or on dash. Okay. Now in this molecule. We have a plane of symmetry. So these are not two different products. These both are same. This is one product. And the compound is a mesocompound. Similarly, Let's take cyclopentane. So let's add one more group here. So, let's add bromine here. Okay. Now I add deuterium in the presence of platinum. This is cis. Followed by sin. Okay, another deuterium I add. Is both either on dash or wedge from the same side. Okay. Now, if you notice here, there is no POS in the molecule. Dusra around the chiral center. The configuration is again not changing. It is only changing along the pink wala chiral centers. So, sare chiral centers are not changing. There is no plane of symmetry. Hence here, I end up with two products. Both being diastereomers. Let's take one more example. Let's add deuterium in the presence of platinum. Now in both these cases, sorry, in this case, the two products which are formed both the deuteriums are on Either on wedge or on dash. Okay. 
Now if we notice here again, देखो first thing, there is no plane of symmetry in the molecule, है ना? And second thing, if you look at these two chiral centers, यहाँ पे दो ही chiral centers हैं, है ना? ऊपर वाला carbon is not chiral, इसको मैं star लगा देती हूँ. The star here, since both the groups containing are same, this is not chiral here. So configuration around the chiral centers are also changing. So in this case, I'm going to have two products, both being enantiomers. Okay, now let's pick up. Different case here. This is X, three E in cis form. So this, if I add osmium tetraoxide and sodium bisulfite. This is again an oxidation reaction in a syn fashion. So the product I end up is with this. Or this. Now since there is a POS, this is one product which is meso. So, now to the same case, you know, this is cis hexene. Let's take if I add any peroxy acid. This also adds across an oxygen in concept form, syn form. It adds across an oxygen across the atoms like this. A cleaving this epoxide type ring. In the presence of acidic medium, it will generate like this. So it is like this, or if I take the second form. First, I see both the chiral centers are having a change in the configuration. So, in this case, I end up with enantiomers. Let's pick up one more example. Okay. Let's have a double bond here. Okay. I add. Bromine water to this. 
This is again an example of an anti addition. This is a file group. So I get this. I can get this or I will have Romain. In this case, so let's take if I have A, B, C, and D. One case of A and B, if you notice, all chiral carbons are not changing their configuration. Eh? The ethyl, the carbon bearing the ethyl group is not changing. So my A and B are again here a set of diastereomers. Similarly, the molecule C and D. are also a set of diastereomers. Since this is alkene here was not symmetrical, and the groups that we being added, bromine and OH, they were not same. So we are ending up with two pairs of diastereomers in this case. Similarly, let me take a symmetrical alkene. Let's take a symmetrical trans alkene in this case. You know, this may be let's add bromine in the presence of water. Again, an example of Anti addition. So, what I'm going to have is now here both the groups, both will be on which or dash. Okay. And if I take the second arrangement that was possible. If I take all these products, four products which are formed here, and if I name them, let's take P, Q, R, and S. So in this case, if I look at my P and R, and you know, since the both groups, it was a symmetrical alkene, so ye wala group and ye wala group here is same. So in this case, my P and R are same and my Q and S is same. So in this case, I'm ending up only with two products. Okay. 